we are now only hours away until polls officially open. And today, both parties made a final push for every vote. Both Republican and DFL headquarter locations in Bemidji were bustling with activity as volunteers made last minute efforts to secure every vote. At the Republican headquarters, local party leaders are cautiously optimistic about early results, but say everyone still needs to get out and vote. You got you to get out and vote. That's all there is to it. Yeah. If they don't vote, uh, it's not going to be good. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes out. One of the big things coming out, I think, is going to be the um, early voting turnout. That's been very high. Uh, early reports that it's, it's leaning very strong towards the Republican side. Uh, I, we'll wait and see. At the DFL downtown Bemidji headquarters, volunteers have been busy door knocking and making phone calls. They've also been encouraging people through social media to get out the vote, which is a key, they say, to a DFL victory. You know, certainly, and we, we hear it said time and again, it's turnout. It's all about turnout, and that's, like I said, the work we're doing right now is making sure we get Democrats to the polls. And uh, we're... We're certainly seeing a lot of people excited about that. A lot of um, early voting, I think you've probably heard, is uh, record numbers so far in the state. And uh, we've been encouraging people to vote early and uh, make sure they get to the polls tomorrow. Both political parties will host election night result watch parties that are open to the public. The Republicans will begin at 7.30 at the Hampton Inn in Bemidji, and the DFL will host their party at the Holiday Inn Express beginning at 7. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.